linuxandroidlinuxand.com in this session you're going to see about how to set up password authentication with apache on ubuntu section 0.04 when you are running a website there are often parts of the site that you will not want to restrict from users and visitors web application may provide through own authentication and authorization method but the web server itself can also be used to restrict access if they are inadequate or unavailable for doing the configuration for that first you need to install the apache and apache utils package for that command apt and get install apache 2 apache 2 hyphen utils and press enter The Apache and Apache Utils package has been get successfully installed in the Ubuntu. Now you can able to start the configuration for the authentication purpose. Now create the password file for that command HD password hyphen C slash etc Apache 2 slash dot HD password space and the name of the user and press enter now type the password for the user and press enter now type the password again and press enter now i am going to create another user for that I repeat the same command hd password hyphen c slash etc apache2 slash dot hc password space and the name of the user and press enter and type the password for that user and retype it again now the two user has been get set for authentication purpose by using this two users only you can able to access your apache site for authentication purpose if you want to view the contents of the file you can see the username and encrypted password the further follow the command cat etc apache2 dot hd password and press enter here you can able to see the list of password that has been get created for the user user1 now i'm going to configure the apache password authentication for that you need to open the default configuration file for that command nano slash etc apache2 site safe and enabled zero zero default.conf and press enter and here you can able to see the default configuration of the file now i'm going to add the extra lines for the authentication purpose here you can able to see the directory where www.html and the error log files now i'm going to add the authentication purpose for that command auth type basic auth name Restricted content This is the content will be get displayed when they are try to access the site with a wrong username or wrong password it will be get appeared and next auth user file And here you have to mention the path of the password file where the user and the user password has been get set for accessing the site slash etc apache2 dot hd password and add require valid user 
after making the changes to mention this configuration file inside the tag for that command directory and here you have to mention the path of that directory where www html and at the bottom you need to close the directory tag after making the changes now save the file now for checking the syntax of the configuration file whether it is correct or not for that command apache to ctl config test here you can able to see the output the syntax is ok now restart the apache service for that command systemctl restart apache2 and press enter the apache2 service has been get restarted successfully now for checking the status of apache2 for that command systemctl status apache2 and press enter here you can able to see the status of the apache2 it is active and it is running now for configuring the access control with the .hd access file for that you need to open the apache2 configuration file for that command nano slash etc apache2 apache2.conf and press enter inside the line move to the directory and where it has pointed to the path where www and now change allow overwrite from none to all after making the changes now save the file now open the where www.html.hd access file to set the authentication purpose for that command nano slash where www.html.hd access and press enter inside the file add the following lines auth, auth type basic auth name and type the content that has to be get displayed during the uh, type of the wrong password or the username in the apache and auth user file and mention the path of the password file slash etc apache2 dot hd password and require valid user after adding the following lines now save the file now restart the apache service for that command system CTL. restart apache2 and press enter the apache2 service has been get restarted successfully now for checking the status of the apache2 for that command system CTL. status Apache 2 and press enter and here you can able to see the status of the Apache it is active and it is running now for confirming the password authentication for that open your web browser and type the IP address of your machine colon the port number 80 and press enter now it will be asking for the authentication purpose now give the username and password and now click ok here you can able to see the default page of the apache 2 after doing the authentication purpose only you can able to view the web page here now i'm going to try to access without by giving the password for that now type the ip address of your machine
colon at and press enter and now click ok without giving the username or password it will not get access now give cancel here you can able to see the unauthorized access and because it is a wrong credentials you, you cannot able to access the web server in this session you have seen about how to set up password authentication with apache on ubuntu 16.04 thank you for watching